Support for the presidential Republican candidates has been fluctuating wildly for months, but there's a movement for a candidate behind me that's only been moving in one direction, and that's forward. It started as a single man with one sign and some time on his hands. Now, after several months, over a dozen concerned citizens rally in front of the Butte Plaza Mall every Saturday, proclaiming their support for Ron Paul. He really wants to preserve individual rights and, and he really likes to uphold the Constitution and, you know, he wants to end the Fed and everything that's unconstitutional and get us back to being on a sound currency. Look at his record. He has never once voted outside of the United States Constitution. He is not a politician. The lobbyists do not want anything to do with him because he can't be bought. And he's a true statesman, not a politician. Passers-by who are curious about the cause can take the world's smallest political quiz to see where they stand on liberty. The quiz is based on how closely you agree with certain libertarian views, such as... Things like government censure of, of speech, media or the internet, military service should be voluntary, let people control their own retirement, privatize social security, replace government welfare with private charity, and cut taxes and government spending by 50% or more. Whether or not you believe Ron Paul and his supporters are too radical to be taken seriously, there's no doubt that they know their rights and the Constitution. He doesn't just run off on some political thing that may or may not be constitutional. Uh, as a, well, the wars are a good example. In order for the United States to go to war with any nation, there has to be a formal declaration of war by an act of Congress under Article 1, Section 8 of the United States Constitution. Only then can a president go to war. Because we've had the media picking our, our electorates for years now, and I'm tired of the control, and I'm tired of being told who to vote for. For The Technocrat, I'm Jonathan Kershaw. I want my rights back.